season's behind the bar at Cheers, and her from the movies Melvin and Howard, and What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Now they've teamed up, and you can catch them both in ink. Take a look. Just because she's my boss, you think she's stronger than I'm the strong one in this relationship. I'm the man. You know, I use the tools, I fix the car, I eat the expired food. You know, I, I can do anything, anything she could do, I can do. You cannot, you have some big secret and you can't even say what it is. Oh yeah? Well, I still want to sleep with you. There, how do you like that? that you couldn't stop kissing me. Absolutely, and I have to say, in our house, we only use Listerine. Yeah. That's what I like to hear right there. I am the new spokesperson. <laughs> How are you guys? Good, Good. to see you. Good. Saw you at uh, President Clinton's birthday party. Yes. Was when I met the, you were so you. sweet. You were amazing to our kids. They will, they're huge undying fans because we saw her backstage, and my son has you know, the, the first crush of his life is on Christina Ricci, and he finally met someone, is this like one step away from Christina Ricci, because That's she right. did a movie with her, and so he got up the courage to come up and talk to you about her, and, and you just sat down with him and talked to him for like 15 minutes, and now he, he's equally big a fan of yours, of course. Well, he was so cute, because most kids will come up and ask you something, he was like, so can I ask you something? I said, yes, you can. <laughs> What is Christina Ricci really like? That was something I had never heard in my life. But is he still uh, got a little crush yes, going on? Yeah. We she's... even asked permission today if we could bring yeah, this up. He said, he yeah, said so it was cool. He's yeah. very cool about it. Listen, she should be so lucky. This is a very cool guy. Yeah. 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 Very, very cool. That's All right. Mom. That's, that's the mom, mom there. That's a good mom talking. He is a cool guy. You're right. Now, when we had um, Hillary Clinton on the show, she spoke of your fear of the Lincoln bedroom. Yes, yeah, she you, called me and told me about it. Yeah, you bad she called my me, wife. She called I, me. I, I she you. called me and I said, didn't. she called me and said, I just want you to know I didn't call you a wimp. I said, what are you talking about? She said, I was on Rosie and we were talking about fears and stuff and she said, Mary Steenburgen really Marley doesn't feel too good about sleeping in the Lincoln room. And you went, that wimp? So she and I decided you're going to come stay there, and it, we'll see how much you like it. Is it scary? Oh, it's, 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 a, like the, it's, it's an auditorium. It's, it's completely like... haunted. I'm absolutely convinced. Completely haunted? Completely. And I'm pretty sure he comes, like, in the mirror. It's Lincoln, of course. And I'm pretty sure that you see him in the mirror. I, I kept looking all around the room thinking, maybe it's over there behind that furniture. And finally I decided it's the mirror. He just, like, slides into view in the mirror. So. Now, have you seen this tattoo, or is it just your wife? Wacky ways. <laughs> She's, a She's a wimp. She's a wimp. <laughs> it must be strange because you've been friends with the Clintons for many years, and oh. now you're hanging out at the White House, Ted. What is that like? Oh, it's, yeah, it's scary with her because they, they've they've known each other for 15 years, and uh, she, my wife will do a skit at the drop of a hat, except on this show. <laughs> But she, uh, she we, we were doing a lot of publicity and going around, and we did these little skits. And we go in at the last minute to say goodbye to her friend, the president, and uh, we go into the Oval Office. And outside is, you know, heads of state to save the, the world, the planet. Sure. And I now think it was it's a, a slow day. We, I think it was like, you know, a quick goodbye, and we're out. She said, oh, 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 I have to show you this skit. Ted, come on, let's do the skit for the president. I'm going, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? She insists on doing a skit hey, did for you the do president. it? Yes. He had to. I started it without him, and he had to jump in. <laughs> Once he started laughing, I really kicked in. But uh, He's a good audience. He is a good I'll audience. bet. But do you ever feel weird, like, oh, my God, I'm friends with the president? It, it's been the strangest thing in the world, because I've known them for ever, you know? And, and they haven't changed. They're absolutely amazing people, and... He's one of the sweetest, big-hearted people in the world, and that hasn't changed at all. But everything else around has changed. Right. You know, you, you, we used to go out to dinner, and it was like, you know, 
he'd drive himself when he was governor, and, and now it's like to go out to dinner, you, you have to figure it out months in advance. And I there's mean, nine people. I yeah. think Mary's ordering the salad. Mary's yeah. ordering the salad. <laughs> Ted's drinking water. Ted's drinking. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, your new show is great. Thank you. It's very funny. Thank Christine Eversole, my good friend, is on that. Was there an applause sign out there, or have you guys actually seen it? Of course, have you seen it? Oh, right. People are watching. Yeah. This is good news. Yes, it's very good news. We're going to talk all about your new show, show a clip and everything after right. this commercial. But don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Ted and Mary right after this. <laughs> Look, I know a girl like you probably has all the dates she can handle, but I really want to see you again. Well, I am kind of busy. Okay. All right. Uh, well, if the day opens up, maybe you'll give me a call. Like, what are you doing tomorrow? Is that the soon as you can make it? How about tonight? It is tonight. Oh, yeah. I do, very That's well. That's back when you could understand what she was saying. Yeah, now that she's a director, yeah. has she given me any work? I kissed her for like a week. Nothing. 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 Was she kissable in your memory? Very. Oh, very. Uh, yeah, she was okay. <laughs> Just saying, you know. Now, how did you guys meet? We, wow. well, um, actually, the first time we met, I was doing a movie called Cross Creek, and he auditioned to play opposite me, and he didn't get the part. Oops. Uh, I wasn't ready for it. I had yeah. to develop a little bit. All right. Then we, then we did a movie together. Yeah, we, uh, uh, we did Pontiac Moon. And we met in San Francisco at, uh, at Postrio. And I can remember the first time I remember, <laughs> her memory is I had these long extensions, you know, you had hair, you know, little beads. And I was so proud of It was for a movie. He was yeah, doing. Yeah, so what, well. Yeah. Uh, he just walks around I like, said a, like it was an for idiot. A movie, right? Yeah. But I had all these, you know, and she said, in comes this dork with this, this gourd, you know, she's so full of it. What did you say? Well, I said that here comes this guy walking in. It's Ted Danson, but he clearly has this long fake hair on. But he walks through the restaurant. Holding his head up and tossing his head. As I was it, so cool. And I thought, I walked behind him watching him, like, look at people in the restaurant and toss his head. I thought, that is the most ridiculous man I've ever seen in my life. And love bloomed oh, right yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that's great. Can you, yeah. can you do a little skit for us here? Wow, wow, wow. No, we can't. I know what we can do. We can reprise the, uh, the oh, God, why are we doing this? <laughs> because, it's, because on our network, we were talking uh -huh. about that it was Romance Week, and so we did these right. little promos, and we can do, one, we can do that thing. Okay. The, oh, wait, wow. Wait, wait, they're really doing um, yeah. so, Where's, where's, uh, that's a good camera right there. Okay. 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 Pardon my back. Mm -hmm. um, I, know, I know we've been kidding around with this Romance Week and everything, Mary, but I just want to say something from the bottom of my heart. Yes? I, I absolutely adore you. And I can see right up your nose. <laughs> That's love. That is love. Absolutely love. Now, I heard when you met uh, Ted, you thought he looked like someone from your childhood? Oh, yes. Well, I, I, no, actually, it was uh, recently I kept saying there's somebody you remind me of that's from my childhood. I can't think of who it is. I was always racking my brain trying to think of who it was. And then one day I realized we were talking about games that we played when we were little. And I was kind of a tomboy, but there was one game I loved, and, that, and I played it with the boy next door, and it was my Barbie game, which came out in 1961. Interesting. I happen to have one right here. <laughs> Would this be the one? That's the very one. All righty. Now, you, and Ted you had, reminded you. You had to pick a guy, and everybody always wanted Ken, but I never did. I always wanted Tom. OK. Can we get Tom? Where do I hold it to? It's a little more red in his there hair. There you go. Can we get Tom? Get that? But now, if you. <laughs> Look.
It's no wonder. You want to know, you wanna know how thinking. romantic I am? Yes. I planted that board 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Well, listen, happy Valentine's Day to you, you too. Thank you so and much. And congratulations on the show. It's on CBS mm -hmm. Mondays at 8.30. Well, actually, it's moving to 9.30 soon. It yeah, is? Yes. It's moving to 9.30. Yeah, well, it's a great show. You should all watch it. CBS. Yeah, Don't miss it. Yeah. Monday night. Yeah.